What's up everybody, welcome to Mike Zuniga Films. In this video, we're gonna be going over the Giant Squid Lavalier Mic. Okay, so before we start, make sure to hit that notification button to stay notified on my upcoming videos and content. So with that being said, let's get right into it. So I started using this mic about two months ago and I would have to say it's performing great. Um, I usually use it with my Zoom H1 handy recorder uh, that I have hooked up right now. So what you're hearing right now is the mic itself um, hooked up to this recorder. I'm speaking with the built-in camera microphone on. Now, I'm speaking with the Giant Squid Lavalier mic. All right, so you can also plug this mic in directly into your camera and it will be powered by plug-in power. And what that means is your camera will power the mic. You would just have to make sure that the camera's voltage um, is between 1.5 and 9 volts um, in that range. So just check your camera, make sure that it can support this mic and you'll be good to go. All right, so I unplugged the mic and the built-in mic level is still negative six dBs. This is what it sounds like with the built-in audio of the camera. All right, so I attached the Giant Squid mic directly to my camera and this is what it sounds like with it attached. And I bumped down the mic levels in the camera to negative six dBs. Now, I highly recommend that if you want to film um, on your camera and have this mic directly plugged into your camera, I would get an extension cord, um, extension cable, so that you're able to have your camera at a farther distance. Right now, my camera as, is at a farther distance than me, um, and if I were just to have this cord right here plugged directly into my camera, um, I would have to bring the camera in really close and the shot wouldn't look right. So get an extension cord if you decide to plug this lav mic directly into your camera. Now you're also able to plug this mic directly into your smartphone. Um, I don't have an adapter with me because I don't really film with the mic directly uh, hooked up to my smartphone. But what I do advise is getting an adapter. This is a TRRX adapter and you're able to plug your lav mic directly into the adapter and then plug that adapter into your phone and from there, you'll be good to go. So it also comes with a reversible clip. I'm able to easily take the clip off and switch it, uh, switch positions uh, depending on what the subject is wearing. I'm able to clip it inside or have it facing outside. So it's very versatile. This lav mic also comes with a foam windscreen. I use it, especially when I'm filming outside. I would highly recommend that if you do that, um, just reverse the clip and have the mic inside the clothing. So when it comes to audio, I hear little to no hiss, and that's great. Uh, the bass is good, even when, even the S's, they're not distorted. So I'll just do a little test right now. The snake slid down the slippery slope. The snake slid down the slippery slope. So overall, this is a really durable lavalier mic, and I highly recommend using this if you wanna get a mic uh, on a budget, a higher quality mic on a budget. Um, I use this for even a lot of my interviews and the quality is still good or just as good as some of the higher end mics that I have used uh, or currently use right now. So with that being said, thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.